we can only we can only surmise Mr. Chair na yung pondo dalawa lang ang pupuntahan nun eh. uh, kagaya ng sabi ko sa bulsa or nagamit po sa ibang bagay both hindi po tama kasi po sa ibang bagay and I Interpolation proper. Uh, Attorney Pua. Yes, yeah. sir. Yeah. Mr. Chair. Uh, would it be correct that you stated in the previous hearing na only <laughs> the Vice President and the SDO know where the confidential funds went? Based on the documents, Your Honor, I would assume so. Did you state that? Uh, what I, I was asked, uh, Mr. Chair, I was asked, uh, Your Honor, I think by Representative Castro, if I knew anything about it. And I said na, uh, sa totoo, wala po talaga akong kinalaman sa management or operation ng confidential funds. So if I remember correctly, and the transcripts would uh, probably bear me out, tinanong niya, eh kung hindi ikaw sino? So I said, uh, just the, well, I would assume the signatories, Your Honor, uh, of the certifications and um, of the other documents. And uh, she asked me who. So I said the SDO and probably the head of agency. So yung, yung sagot po ninyo, it's a presumption. Well, Your Honor, kasi hindi ko po alam kung... So hey, because you answered the question under oath. Yes, Your Honor. And therefore, you stated the name of the Vice President and the Special Dispersing Officer. Uh, uh, that they, they're the only ones who know where the confidential funds went. Uh, that, that, is, that is correct, Your Honor. No? That because is why I asked you on the documents, uh, yes. whether you stated this statement in the last hearing. Yes, Your Honor. But just to... I think just to clarify, I mentioned it was based on the documents, Your Honor, because the documents would point that way. Because kung titing na ko yung statement po niyo, ay kung wala nang ibang nakakalam kung saan napunta yung pondo, ay dadalawang bagay lang ang nangyare, di ba? Because either ibinulsa nung ni VP o ni STO o ginamit sa ibang bagay. Ni VP I, at saka ni SDO. Hindi po ba? Uh, Your Honor, please. I wasn't... Uh, Hindi, yun, ang, yun po yung sagot but ninyo. But I wasn't eh, alluding why. to that, Your Honor. I was I, asked, pardon? I wasn't alluding to that, Your Honor, if uh, I may no, beg your actually, indulgence. Opo. Uh, Pawa, correct me if I'm wrong. Hindi ba? Yung pondo allocated sa office. Tama. Nagkasadvance sila from land bank. Tama. Land Bank, nagkasadvan sila doon, di na lang sa opisina. Ang makaalam na lang doon ay yung uh, head of office or head of agency at saka yung special dispersing officer. Tama. Di ba ba? At yung special dispersing officer, yun yung mag-a-allocate kung saan pupunta yung gagastusin yung pondo. Di po ba? Sagutin niyo ako. Kawa. Do you agree with me? Yes, pakisabi sa mic para marinig po lahat. Uh, with your permission, Your Honor, I, yes po, Your Honor. Yes. And therefore, kung yung liquidation or clearing process ay uh, hindi totoo at bogus, ibig sabihin nagamit yung pera sa ibang bagay. Would you agree with me, Kowa? Uh, well, uh, based on your uh, statement, Your Honor, and based on the, which you said that uh, the liquidation or the documents are bogus, so we presume that the funds, no other evidence presented, were illegally disbursed. Hindi po ba kayo kumbinsido sa mga sagot ninyo at saka sa mga katanungan na aking makasama? na yung DEPs or documentary evidence of payments or 
uh, uh, acknowledgement receipts ay puro may diferensya. Di po ba? And therefore, pag yung liquidation instruments, part of your clearing process or liquidation process ay mali-mali na, ay saan napunta yung pera? Tell me. Dalawang bagay lang po. Kasi dami ko na na-investigan na ganito nung nasa polis ako eh. Saka sa PCINP. Oh. Di ba? Either ibinulsa or ginamit sa iba. Either way, mali. Di po ba? Would you agree? Kowa? Uh, if the liquidation po is bogus. Um... Kasi hindi naman napunta doon sa totoo eh. Doon sa uh, doon sa clearing instruments na binigay. Di ba? Kung naibol sa masama, ninaka muna eh, di ba? Ngayon kung ginamit sa iba, technical malversation 'yon. Would you agree with me, attorney? Um, that is assuming it was not used as confidential expense. Eh, mali na nga yung clearing instrument sa liquidation process eh. Yung mali yung pag-clear at saka pag-liquidate, what is your conclusion? Uh, that the funds were not used as confidential. Supposed to be used. To, as, as it is supposed to be used. It is supposed to be used. Yes. That is the logical conclusion. Hindi po ba? Would you agree with me, Madam? Tony? Personal opinion, yes, Mr. Chair. Huh? Personal opinion po, Mr. Chair, yes. I would have to agree. Ewan ko. Pero kasi sa dami na naimbestigahan ko, ganun ang nakikita ko eh. Kayo naman, ang tagal nyo na sa COA, hindi nyo pa rin nakikita yon. Di ba? Kasi if, if your liquidation or clearing process is wrong, hindi definitely yung kung saan pinunta yun, pinuntaan yung pera, hindi po dun sa tama. Could you give me an instance na mali yung liquidation process, tama yung pinuntahan ng pera? Pursuant to your guidelines, Uh, yun nga po, Mr. Chair, personal opinion, um, the, if, if the confidential funds were not used as it is intended to be used, it's already technical mal malversation. Yes, kasi kitang-kita naman na uh, yung paggamit po nila sa pondo, eh parang nilegalize lang nila from, uh, by their submission to you, yung DEPs nila, o kaya ARs, or Acknowledgement Receipts. Di ba? Na mali-mali. Would you agree with me? Uh, yes, Mr. Chair. Yes, thank you. Kasi yun ang nakikita ko na nangyari, eh, process eh. Nag-withdraw sa land bank dahil nandun yung pondo na confidential fund. <clears throat> di nala sa opisina, yung SDO. Uh, hindi ko alam. Kaya nga hinahanap namin yung SDO para tanuhin namin kung saan napunta eh. Paano niya inallocate yung pondo eh. But as it is, yung liquidation instruments ay mali-mali po eh. Kaya sigurado ako, hindi napunta sa tama rin yung pondo. And there are only two things na pinuntaan yung pondo. Nagamit sa iba o ibinulsa. So ayaw nyo matanggap yun. Ako kaya kong tanggapin. Kasi marami na akong dinaanan na investigasyon. Na ganun. Natameme kayo? Ha? Di ba? Could you please tell us? Kasi marami nangyayari yung ganito eh. Which I think you know. Kasi hindi lang naman hindi lang naman dan sa OBP yan. It's tingin ko. Okay. So 
Pwede po bang malaman? <coughs> uh, yun po ang mga certification <coughs> na ginamit po yung uh, security group ni Vice President. Tinanggap din po ninyo. Uh, Mr. Chair, hindi po. Yung uh, proof sa rewards ni OVP, uh, hindi po. Hindi. Kaya po na-disallow yung payment of rewards. Sa DepEd? Sa DepEd po kasi, um, parang na namin na independent party yung uh, nagbigay ng certification. So, Paki, pakilapit lang yung... Um, since na deem namin na independent na group yung nag-issue ng certifications, the certifications. So, tinanggap ninyo? Opo, Mr. Chair. Yung, mga, yung certification galing doon sa office ng Vice President Security Group? Uh, hindi po. Yun ang hindi po namin tinanggap since um, parang kasama din po ng OVP po yun eh. Pero yung sa DepEd po kasi, um, ibang party na po kasi yung nag-issue ng mga certifications. Ayun yung natanong na nung last year yes, yung mga Mr. Chair. Uh, Philippine Army units yes, Mr. Chair. na nag-conduct ng Youth Leadership Summit. Yes, Mr. Chair. Yes, thank you. <clears throat> but would you agree with me that the uh, office of the Vice President is separate from the office of the VPSG? Uh, yes, Mr. Chair. But um, they are the group that is um, specifically... Um, it's like yung PSG po ni President na specific na naka-assign kay VP po. Yeah, kaya lang. Kaya nga. And would you agree with me also that uh, uh, the uh, office of the uh, security group of the Vice President uh, would have their own funds? Uh, yes, Mr. Chair. Yes, and therefore would not need the confidential funds coming from the Secretary of the uh, Department of uh, Education and from the Office of the Vice President. Would you agree with me? Uh, yes, Mr. Chair. Yes, thank you. Uh, wala kasi dito yung mga kwan eh. Dapat yun ang tatanuin eh. Now, uh, are you aware na uh, there were 787 Acknowledgement receipts uh, were uh, uh, there were no names, but there were signatures. Uh, yes, Mr. Chair. You're aware of that. And there were 302 uh, ARs that had unreasonable names. Would you agree also? Um, unreasonable names, Mr. Chair. Unreadable. Ah, unreadable. Um, yes, Mr. Chair. Then there were five names repeated. Uh, that was not an observation, Mr. Chair. Yung, yung repeated names po, hindi po namin naging observation. Hindi nakita yon. Okay. And uh, in so far as the uh, confidential fund of the uh, Department of Education is concerned, yung, yung location ng... Uh, uh, where the YLS uh, were conducted did not match locations uh, where information to support this YLS were supposedly bought. Would you agree with that? Um, yes, Mr. Chamber. Specific uh, areas po yung certification. Yes. Now, would you also agree that there were uh, identical entries, amount expended, and number of receipts for uh, the second and third quarter of 2023 for entries on provision of medical and food aid? Uh, yes, Mr. Chair. Yes. Uh, it's not very unusual naman po. Since I beg your pardon? It's not very unusual naman po since pwede naman po talaga mangyari. So usual na, yung nangyayari yun? Hindi naman po usual, pero hindi naman siya ganun ka-unusual. Oh, sige. Whether it's usual or unusual, is it in accordance with the joint circular? 
Um, sa joint circular po kasi, documentary evidence of payment lang po ang okay. requirement. Eh, sa pakisagot lang yung tanong, uh, whether usual or unusual, is it in accordance with your uh, joint circular? Uh, since the document was submitted You po, think yes. they are? Po, yes. So it's your opinion? Yes. yes okay. Sir. Thank you. Uh -huh. May we go to yung kwan? Yung uh, uh, acknowledgement receipts or DEPs. Now, uh, we have examined yung DEPs or acknowledgement receipt, uh, which were used to liquidate the confidential funds. Uh, and I would like, Mr. Chair, to make the following statements from, uh, from the examination. Uh, may nakita po na mga acknowledgement receipts uh, that all appear to be signed by the same pen. Would you agree with that also, Madam Kawa? Um, yes, Mr. Chair, since either blue or black po yung... Yes. Kaya nga, makikita po natin ito sa color ng ink. Yes, Mr. Chair. Yeah. Uh, which is a very distinct shade of blue na my shades of black. Uh, I think it's there, shown. Yan di po ba yung acknowledgement receipts na sa inyo? Yes, Mr. Chair. And uh, wala po kayong napansin? Uh, yung na-note ni note lang po namin is yung mga uh, iba ang date, yung mga unsigned, yun po Mr. Chair. Ganon. Yes, Mr. Chair. Uh -huh. Mr. Chair, I would just like to manifest that all these uh, acknowledgement receipts are under the names of different persons, pero wala po dyan yung naulit. Dyan po sa sampo na yan. Uh, but if we look at it, uh, the names and signatures of different persons appear to be written with the same pen with a distinct ink on different dates. Uh, I think this is highly irregular. Bilang, bilang ako, isang investigador. Uh, now, Madam Attorney, you confirm that you have received these acknowledgement receipts as part of the submissions of the Office of the Vice President to liquidate their confidential funds? Yes, Mr. Chair. Yes. Okay. Now, would you agree with me that these 10 acknowledgement receipts appear to be written with the same color of ink? Yes? Uh, like I said, sir, it's either blue or black po kasi yung ink. So... Gusto ko lang malaman yung sabot po ninyo. Yes, Mr. Thank Chair. You. Uh, and this is a distinct shade of blue na almost black. para may gradient po siya. Tama. I cannot remember. Kaya nga ikaw, sabi mo, sagot mo, it's either blue or black eh. Kasi parang naglalaro yung ink na ginamit sa blue or black. Yes, Mr. Chair. Common yes. naman po yun na nakikita naman either blue or black ang signature. When you say common... Sa lahat po ba ng opisina na in-audit niyo, ganyan? Either blue or black, yes, Mr. Blue or black din. Sa lahat ng opisina ng gobyerno na in-audit niyo. Yes, Mr. Chair. Like, kami rin, sir, either blue or black po ang ginagamit namin. Ha? Huh? Either blue or black din po yung ginagamit namin. Yeah. And I would like to show kung ano yung, yung ink dun sa pag-imbestiga namin eh. Yan. Yung kulay. It's uh, Prussian blue. Would you confirm that this is the same or very similar color as, color as the ones in the ARs that were submitted to you? Hindi ko na maalala ang itsura, Mr. Chair. Okay. <laughs> Tignan po natin yung kwan. Yung uh, pinirmahan ni uh, uh, assistant or ASEC or Tonyo. Hindi po ba parehas yung pinakita ko na Prussian blue? Mukhang parehas, Mr. Chair. Ha? Mukha pong parehas. Parehas. So, it's the same ink used by Asek uh, Lemuel Ortonio. 
uh, the assistant chief of staff of the office of the vice president. Tama? Mukha pong pareho, Mr. Chair. No. Now, Mr. Chair, uh, there have been also observations that there are acknowledgement receipts which bear the same or similar handwriting. Parehas po ang handwriting. Na, may nakita rin po ba kayong ganon, Madam Attorney? Na halos parehas ang handwriting doon sa mga ARs? Hindi naman po kami experts sa handwriting, Mr. Chair. Ah, hindi naman kailangan ng expert para makita ko minsan yan eh. Uh, Komsek, pwede ba ipakita yung kwan? Yung picture ng halos parehas ng kwan? Ng uh, handwriting? Yung uh, AR dated July 27, 2023 and July 25, 2023? Kung pwede ipakita? Yung problem? Hindi ba ikwan? Saan ba sila? Sir, may I be acknowledged while we're waiting for ICTS to fix the technical problem? Here? Yes, Comsec, you are acknowledged. Your Honor, we would like to recognize Honorable Julian Jam Baronda, Deputy Majority Leader from the Lone District of Iloilo City, and Honorable Crispin Diego Ping Remulia, Vice Chairperson from the 7th District of Cavite, Your Honors. Attorney, bago natin kasi nagkakaroon ng technical problem, pwede bang magtanong din ako ng, kasi hindi ako naliliwanagan dito sa, kwan eh, yung uh, the, uh, there, there, there is a deficiency, I think, that you have noted that the payment of rewards to informers must be supported with documents evidencing the success of the information gathering and or surveillance activities on account of the information given by the informer. Ito yes. po yung ginamit dun sa yung YSL. Uh, yes, Mr. Chair. Tama? Yes, Mr. Chair. Ano po yung, ano po yung, ang, ang aking pagkaintindi rito, correct me if I'm wrong, na dapat may makuha ng information na ginamit yung confidential fund and that an activity was conducted because of that information and that information gathering and that activity were successful. Yes, Mr. Chair. Tama po ba yung Tama po. Hindi ko? Tama po, Mr. Now, Chair. if I may ask, how would you know or how would you be able to find out na merong information na nakuha muna before they have conducted their YSL? Um, wala po kaming information on that. So, either may separate sila as part ng purchase of information and then separate yung rewards or nabayaran na siya same with the rewards. Pero requirement po nyo yun, di ba? Requirement na circular. Yeah. Kaya po yung, ano, yung additional that requirement. Is, that is precisely the reason why you will justify the buying of information, yes, which would Mr. lead Chair. to a successful event or operation. Yes, Mr. Chair. Di po ba? Yes, Mr. Chair. Kasi ginagawa rin namin nung nasservisyo ako yun eh. I know that. Yes, Mr. Pero Chair. Pero parang pagkaintindi ko sa inyong uh, uh, clearing instruments, parang, parang hindi just because there was a certification that the YSL uh, uh, YLS pala uh, were successful. Tama na yun. Parang gano'n ang pagkaintindi ko. Samantalang, nung kami ang nasa servisyo, ang requirement is that ipapakita namin na may information kaming binayaran 
And because of that information, an operation was conducted and it was successful. Hindi ba dapat ganun? Yes, Mr. Chair. Pero in the case of the confidential fund of the OBP and the DepEd, hindi ko nakikita yun. Yun nga po, kaya nirequire namin sila mag-submit ng additional documents. And yung nag-review po, naging sufficient na po yung certification from the yung five certifications. And that is enough to 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 uh, to show na tama po yung ginawa nila just because nag-submit sila ng certification that uh, YLS uh, was conducted and it was successful. Um, Di ba ang, ang concept dapat nun is you use confidential fund to buy information and because of that information bought or acquired, you conduct an operation. Yes, Mr. And that Chair. operation should turn successful. Yes, Mr. Chair. Eh, ganun po yung requirement sa amin nung naservisyo kami. Intelligence fund. Yes, Mr. Basically, Chair. they are the same. Tama po, Mr. Chair. So, eh, eh, bakit po naniwala kayo ko sa certification lang na successful yung pag-conduct ng YSL? Ay, since yan nga po, uh, independent na agency po yung nagbigay ng certification, And sabi naman po niya na because of the of the YLS nga wala pong na-influence ng mga bata, we deemed it um, successful. Compared po dun sa yung sabi niyo po kanina na yung sa VP SPG group, uh, ang sinabit lang po nila was a listing of the activities of the Vice President. Which is wala naman pong information kung may success ba na may successful activity ba na nagawa because of the information they have gathered. Yun yung sa security sa, group. Yes, Mr. Chair. And uh, is, there, is there any way that you will determine that the confidential fund of the uh, OVP and DepEd, uh, these funds were used sa activity ng uh, one? ng VPS uh, Security Group? Kasi they have their own funds. That was the first question I asked you a while ago. Yes, Mr. Chair. That the Presidential Security Group and the, uh, and part of that is the Vice President Security Group, may pondo po sila eh, naka-allocate talaga. Yes, Mr. Chair. Oh, but they were not able to show, if, I'm, uh, if I will appraise yung uh, documents, they were not able to show that confidential funds of the OVP and the DepEd were used in such activities. Yes, Can Mr. you see Chair. that they were used? Uh, no, Mr. Chair. Kaya nga po, uh, hindi naman siya na-consider since yung list of activities lang po ang sinabmit nila, which is, alam nila, since sila naman po yung kasama ni VP sa mga activities na yun. But anyway, uh, may... Hindi pa rin yata tapos, Paige. Pwede na, sir. Pwede na. Pakisyo nga yung kwan, yung acknowledgement receipts dated July 27, tsaka July 25, 2023. Wala pa rin. Ipakita mo na lang sa kanya. Madam Attorney, papakita ko na lang sa iyo yung observation namin. Yan lang, yan. Tingnan mo lang yung receipt na yan. Because I will ask questions. Okay? Pwede. Did you notice na isa lang ang gumawa nito? Um, Mr. Chair, sorry, tinignan oh, yeah, ko lang. Yun na lang, lang sinasabi ko eh. Kaya tingnan mo. You observe it properly. Ayan na. Okay na. Ayan. Nakita mo? Uh, yes, Mr. Chair. Uh, would you confirm that this were submitted to your office? Uh, yes, Mr. Chair. Yes. Now, if you observe, uh, kindly observe the letter J. 
Tama po ba na halos parehas yung letter J dyan? Uh, yes, Mr. Chair. Yes? Tama rin po ba na parehas din yung color ng ink na ginamit at saka yung lapad po ng pagkasulat? Uh, yes, Mr. Chair. Would you be able to state, Madam Attorney, na this, these two receipts were written by the same person? Probably, Mr. Chair. Probably. Pero, these are two different acknowledgement receipts indicating different dates yes, and Mr. indicating Chair. different pages. How can that be? Pwede naman pong either, either of those two persons wrote the same and then someone else So, that signed. is regular. Ah, mm. No. I'm not saying regular po, pero Hindi it could na, happen. Hindi eh, na, tinatanong ko nga is, uh, nagkakaroon tayo ng observation. Now, yes, would, do you think this is regular? Mm. No. No. Thank you. Huh. Uh, Mr. Chair, pakikita po natin dito na there are certain things na irregular in so far as the uh, DEPs or acknowledgement receipts submitted by the two offices doon po sa COA. Now, I would like to point uh, again another observation which uh, we have made. Uh, this time, an acknowledgement receipt with the name KV that repeats in OVP and DepEd uh, DepEd uh, acknowledgement receipts. Kindly show yung uh, OVP at saka DepEd acknowledgement receipts. Oh, parehas lang yan. Nandun sa OVP, nandun pa sa DepEd. Hindi nyo napansin ito. Hindi po, Mr. Chair, since na-audit siya ng magkaibang time. Okay. Pero, would you confirm that uh, the two ARs uh, parehas ang pangalan na kay B? Hindi ko na maaalala yung exact document, Mr. Chair. Sige, yeah. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. Uh, uh, again, Mr. Chair, uh, pwede po bang ipakita natin yung, yung last uh, AR dated 12-30-2022? Sinabit din pa ito sa inyo? Uh, yes, Mr. Chair. Huh? Yes. Yes. Basta lahat po nang sinabmit namin po, Mr. Chair, sa inyo. Galing sa amin po. Oo, oh, sige. Yun ang binigay nyo sa committee. Yes, Mr. Tama, Chair. Na, nabasa namin. Yes, Mr. Yes. Chair. Yes. The, uh, the name would read, tama po ba? Mary Grace Piatos? Piati? Ha? Huh? Piati? Piatos. Piati? Ang pagkabasa ko, Piatos eh. Why po yung last? Why? Hindi S? Uh, may ano po siya eh. Ayan o, di na mo. Uh, why po? Since masyado nang mababa yung tail. Okay. Now, sa tingin mo, totoong tao yan? What's your opinion? <laughs> It could be a person. Could be a person. Pero would you know na merong restaurant na Mary Grace sa pangalan? Yes, Mr. Chair. Cafe At Mary meron Grace. ding piatos na brown ng potato chips? Yes, Mr. Chair. Would you know that? 
Yes, Mr. Chair. Yes. Uh, anyway, uh, at least uh, alam mo rin pala mga yun. Now, Mr. Chair, uh, I would just like to repeat what I've said a while ago na everything na tinanong ng aking mga kasamahan uh, tungkol sa documentary evidence of payments or acknowledgement receipts ay karamihan po ay hindi po totoo. And therefore, if hindi po totoo, hindi natin malalaman kung saan talaga napunta yung pondo, yung confidential fund, until and unless we would be able to grill yung mga, yung dalawang uh, SDOs. The SDO of the Office of the Vice President and the SDO of the Department of Education. Si, si, no, si Madam Acosta yata, tsaka yung isa. So, we can only, we can only surmise, Mr. Chair, na yung pondo, dalawa lang ang pupuntahan nun. Uh, kagaya ng sabi ko, sa bulsa or nagamit po sa ibang bagay, both hindi po tama. Kasi kung ginamit sa ibang bagay, and I think the lawyers of uh, CO would uh, agree with me that there's technical malversation. Kasi iba ang purpose ng pondo, ginamit sa iba. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Marami pong salamat sa opportunity. Mr. Chair. Thank you, Congressman Akop. Uh, the Chair would like to recognize 